this is going to be a choppy video and I'm going to have to put it together in little pieces because I do not have my Canon Hack Development Kit anymore, which is where I would have done a uh, time lapse. Anyways, the next 24 hours I am going to build this um, replica of a TV, 1950 TV. I'm pretty much inspired by the Radiation King. In fact, that's what it's going to have on there. I don't know if you can see that close up from the Fallout game. Although this isn't going to be an exact replica of the Radiation King because it's going to have a flat screen monitor. So I'm going to be taking pictures and periodically doing videos. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is clear off my workbench and get going. Uh, the first second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting the raw stock according to the uh, measurements that I have in my plan here. Most of this is going to be a prototype build. I haven't thought it all the way through. Uh, the flat screen monitor is going to be powered by a laptop that's going to sit in the box in the bottom. These two round circles are its breasts. No, no, no. Those two round circles are going to be speakers. Uh, this is actually going to be used to show some 1950s commercials for the 75th Jubilee of, the, of Clawson which is going to be celebrated tomorrow, which is where I'm getting the 24-hour deadline from. So let me get started. We'll see where that takes us. So what I need to do is I need to put a gusset on here, and so what I'm going to do is mark the measure. Oh, get a little closer. I want to mark the edge, but if I cut it on this line, um, that's going to be a bad thing. What I need to do is leave room for the gusset on the other top bottom piece, so I'm going to just take my measurement of a gusset, and this will be the line that I cut on right here, and that will give me enough room for the gusset on the goes across the top piece. Okay, so I want to I want to get this gusset centered on this uh, side piece. So what I did is I marked where the top and bottom gussets are going to go, and then that gives me a range where I can stick this gusset. So I'll go ahead and glue those up and nail them together, tack them together. Okay, I was bad and I cut, cut out a couple steps, so I'm going to try and catch them up. Um, this is a piece of 5 8 inch uh, oak that I had, and you see that I, I hollowed it out in the back, and I'm going to show you why that is. This is going to be where the buttons are going to be mounted, and I'm going to have a uh, grill plate that's um, going to go in there like that, so there will be... Um, there's going to be a grill cloth over here. It's going to have the Radiation King crown and words, and behind it, it's going to be cut out, and I'm going to have um, speakers mounted there. And as you can see, it slides right in under there. And you can also see that I left some gaps here because it's going to be wrapped with cloth, which is going to make it a little bit wider. Uh, over here, what I'm doing is I'm cutting some legs, uh, and I'll do that next. got the legs sub-assembly put together and what I've done is on this rail right here I put a bead of glue and I've got it clamped to here and I'm going to screw the um, base of the TV to the legs of the TV. Uh, I'm going to do that by going in at an angle. It's really not going to matter because no one's going to see it. I've already done the front. Let's see how it goes. I've got the body put together. It's in the house drying right now. I need to do some measurements on it. And um, in the meantime, what I thought I'd do, actually I'm doing two things. I got the electronics setting up right now. Uh, but what I need to show for the for tomorrow is an MP4 format, which the laptop I'm using, it's an old laptop, doesn't doesn't have MP4 capability. So I'm putting the DLC player on it right now. While that was happening, I thought I would come back out here and 
attach the grill cloth to the vacuum board. Before I do that, uh, I need to cut some holes in here, so in case I put some speakers behind, uh, the sound can come out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And what I'm going to use is this little fly cutter here. I got that off of um, the internet, Amazon, specifically for 8 bucks, and it's been probably one of the most useful tools I've ever gotten. Uh, so I'm going to do that setup, cut a hole, and then I'm going to staple this to my piece of lawn here. Okay, so I've got the fly cutter in the drill press, and I'm just going to run it in case you've never seen one of these work. Uh, probably doing it one-handed it's not a good idea, but it is clamped down. So let's see what happens. Okay, so there you can see the kind of uh, hole that it's cutting. It's actually really smooth, way smoother than um, a hole saw would be if you had a hole saw this big. And the other thing is it's perfectly round. Okay, I'm checking in here. I don't even actually know what time it is. I suppose I'll have to look at the, uh, at the video file when, when I get it, and I'll probably overdub it. What I've done now um, is I've taped off the legs because I want them to look like um, I want them to have a wood look to them. And now I'm going to go get some spray paint. And the spray paint I'm using is is spray paint and primer, so I should just be able to give it a couple coats without having to prime it first. And uh, what I'll do later on is I'll come back and I'll paint these rails black. And where the wood is exposed here, I'll probably put something um, to darken it, either a stain or um, uh, like a yellow shellac or something like that. Okay, so these are going to be the insides. Um, I'm going to play a DVD on that uh, laptop. It's an ancient laptop. can't even get it to play an HD uh, DVD. So I'm uh, down converting it into an MPEG format. And then I'm going to do this monitor up to uh, look like the monitor from the Radiation King. Okay, I began painting, and I want to show you these. These are little holes that uh, were made when I used the stapler to staple the top and bottom to the uh, gussets. So it's not going to work. I need to fill those, and I need to fill them with something that dries fast. Um, let's see if I have any caulk and see if I can do it with that. Okay, now this light is crappy, and I apologize. I guess get it back with it in front of the front light, lighted, lighted. I'm getting a little tired here. Um, see, I've got a coat of paint on it. It's kind of like a uh, tan color. Hoping to get um, like a plasticky color from it. Let's come over to this side, and you can see where I've got all. Well, maybe you can. Maybe, yeah, there it is. You can see I've got all sorts of runs. I'm probably gonna have to take that out with sandpaper. But the problem is that. Where I've, um, where I've used the router on the MDF, it, it just soaks in and, and doesn't make a nice uh, doesn't make a nice finish. What I ended up doing with uh, the nail holes, at least the ones that were showing, is I actually used model filler on it. I've used mod model filler on wood before; it actually works pretty good, and it dries super super fast. So I'm going to leave this alone to dry. After it dries, then I can. Uh, do some touch up and in the meantime I'm going to work on the monitor. Okay, this is my radi Radiation King logo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, do some decoupage, um, glue it up and make it thick with cardstock so that it actually looks substantial when I stick it to the, um, to the outside of the TV box. Once it's decoupaged, I'm going to paint it gold, paint it crown gold, and probably outline the letters in silver or something just to make it stand out and look like it's a uh, some kind of commercial logo. Okay, 
Okay, so this frame is going to go around the LCD monitor and there's going to be an insert in it um, to kind of make it look oval, kind of, um, what do they call it, vignette it, uh, like the old CRT TV used to be. What I'm doing right now is I'm using my fly cutter again to cut a couple knobs that are going to be on the side and then I'll have to cut some smaller knobs to go on the front. So here's what I have so far with the frame for the uh, monitor. Uh, okay, I'm not 100% happy. I, I should have the vignetting cover all that, but um, I think I'll be okay. One of the cool things is, is I actually got the Western House symbol showing. Um, so what I need to do is get this painted and then uh, paint the inside a different color to, to really make that, that screen pop. Um, this base is coming off and it's going to be screwed to the top of the uh, quote-unquote TV base. I just can't do it right now because the paint's wet. Okay, it's 2.12 in the morning. I'm the only one that's left awake. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this crown gold and then I'm going to start again in the morning. Okay, it's 7 in the morning. That's the last thing I did last night was paint the Radiation King uh, symbol. Let's see what's out in the back. Okay, so here's the body. Um, it's still tacky. Uh, the last coat of paint I put on it was at 2.15 last night, 7 in the morning, so it's a four and a half hours drying. Uh, I'm not going to let that slow me down. I know I'm going to regret that later. Uh, it starts it starts sticking and things start coming off, so this is the base to the monitor. I'm not going to paint it because it's still my monitor. Uh, but what I do have to do is screw it to this so that it doesn't fall off. Uh, and I need to stain the legs. This is the uh, oak panel. It goes in the corner. I don't know if you remember it from last night uh, before I stained it, but that's what it'll look like. Uh, so I guess I need to get going. Here's the frame for the monitor. Kind of at a goofy angle because it's hanging off the clothesline. Uh, I had to paint it this light gray color because I am actually out of all the other color paints that I was going to use. Um, I don't know if you can, you can get a close up there. It's obviously going to take a couple coats, which is a bummer because I don't know if it's going to have enough time to dry. It's a pretty good steady breeze, so, so maybe it will. I just can't keep. Uh, pouring in the paint, it'll just blob at this point. i got to let this dry and then come back and give it another coat. Okay, I just put a coat of stain on the um, part of the legs. The wood was exposed from cutting it. Oops, I didn't do a very good job up there. Let me get that. Uh, I'm actually using a golden oak. Not that it matters, it's just that I happen to know, because I've been working with this wood, extra scrap wood um, what I needed to do to match the old finish so uh, I'm not going to seal it with anything shiny like a shellac uh, but it is going to be the right color okay so um, <laughs> the monitor stand is screwed to the body and uh, the monitor actually clicks into the stand I have no idea how I'm going to take it apart later um, but that's not my concern right now. I've got the Radiation King symbol on there. I've got the legs stained. I'm going to print out some labels for the dials. And then the, the actual dials are drying, although they, they really look like crap because they made them out of pine and I didn't have a chance to sand them. Um, of course, the ring that goes around the monitor is 
also um, is also drying. So it's about eight o'clock right now, maybe eight thirty. Uh, the only thing this has to do between now and ten is dry. Okay, so in eight hours, done as it's going to get. Let's see if I can do this without my shadow. Um, the knobs that I made are not going to be able to dry in time, so I'm just going to use paper ones for today. Uh, I don't have the electronic stuff in it right now. It's out here in the sun because uh, I'm hoping that it'll, it's, it's actually still tacky to the touch. And hopefully it won't be, uh, won't be tacky by the time we have to put it in the car. So here we are. Let me get out of the way here. The Radiation King in eight hours. Okay, so here's the final shot. I'm just making a video. Don't freak out. I'm not talking to myself. I do that, but I'm not doing it right now. Oh, uh, shot. <laughs> we like it when people are crazy. I started at 8.12 last night. Um, I finished at about 8.43 this morning. And, yeah, you can see my shadow there. Let me get out of the way. And, actually, you can't even see that it's running, so let me figure that out. Okay, so here we are with my shadow in the window, and there's the old radiation king. It's showing a uh, commercial cross between Mitch Miller and Liberace.